going on? What the heck is happening right oh, here? Oh, they want a true blade next to Chris. Oh, no. Because they're wearing red sweaters. They are wearing red sweaters. Oh, my God. Wow. You're horrible. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know they look alike, but come on. The red hoodie sweaters. All right. That being said, Krim V015, winner's finals. About to do it. Okay. Sorry. Stuff's still happening. Yeah. I'm not sure about it. Anyway. Um, I don't know if they've started. They have started. Okay. All right. I guess we'll get right into it here. And, uh, again, these are two of the top players right here. Obviously, Chris doesn't have the greatest of records against VO15. I'm not mistaken. Ooh. That grab started from the platform, and you know, like, this is another one of those characters where it'll just help to die off the top from the from the platform, and he just died. Well, that escalated quickly, my friend. Yep. And, uh, taking up the Zero Suit Escalator. You already know. Up air, up air, up B. Obviously not the best of starts, but, I mean, this, to, be, to, his, to his credit, it's only game one. Crystal yeah. has a lot of time to make this back, but V definitely doing a good job asserting himself early. Yeah, and, like, Diddy Kong is one of those consistent characters, you know, strong neutral, consistent punishes, but... Explosive stuff from Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. All right. Wheels him in with that grab right there. Waits for the air dodge, but turns around, grab, misses, and Chris is able to take advantage right here. Only question is, how far can he bring this back? Yeah, V15 still hasn't taken a whole lot of damage. Still just 57%. Yeah. Like, even though Diddy Kong does get, like, consistent punishes, it's not always the strong hits one after another that we see from, like, the explosive Zero Suit or, uh, or Ryu, you know? Right. And at the same time, like, this lead isn't insurmountable by any means. It, it, it's just a matter of Chris being able to deliver yep. when promised. Exactly. Make the reads when he can get them and finish off stocks. But V15 is going to finish off that one, and... Clean two stock from him in game one. That's an early statement right there. V015 uh, on the board already. Minute minute 40, but I mean, Chris, he, he, he's got a chance here to uh, really make this back. He's got counter pick advantage now. Going to try and pick a stage that works better for him. Yeah. And the raw up B read. Yeah, Chris can't, shouldn't let that one combo from the start uh, shake him too much. Like, it was on the platforms. Sometimes that happens with zero suits. Just got to get your head back in the game. And it looks like he is uh, doing that, starting off with some fares. But once again, V15 getting his damage started. And Chris just has to, I feel like he's uh, extending himself a little bit too much and letting V take advantage of where he's going to be. Ooh, and the weight from V15. A little bit late on that grab, but yeah. he had the right idea. Okay, Chris is doing a very good job right now, uh, keeping him to the side. Although V is able to hit him straight up with that boost kick. Force him to the corner. Gets rid of that banana. Ooh, and just dash, dash attacks after the stun goes. V even reading the roll on the landing. So Chris in a little bit of trouble right here, but let's see if he makes this back. And taking him to Town and City, this is one of uh, Diddy Kong's better stages. Hoo-ha is still a thing on this stage. Yes. So... Watch out. Chris pressing him very nicely on that platform. He's using those short hops. V was expecting a roll, but Chris, up to the task, does air dodge and get punished for it, though. Unfortunate, but again, he shouldn't let this shake him too much. Just get right back in there, get your punishes. Absolutely. And, and if you're view one five, you keep doing what you're doing. Everything's working for you right now. Mm. You've pretty much had the advantage the entire stop the entire set, more or less. Mm. So you just keep going with what's working. Exactly. You don't want to. You don't want to change too too much. Obviously, you want to be adaptable with your playstyle and whatnot. But you don't want to make such a sudden shift that it like it ends up bricking your momentum. You know. Mm. And I think sometimes in best of fives, you have that long, uh, you know, adaptation Period. factor. Yeah. So, like, you don't want to show all your cards in the beginning, right? So you get that explosive stuff where you can and. Yeah, was able to air dodge through that. Ooh. Nicely down. done using that down air. And he, he has been really going for that like the whole day, and he's been getting it. So definitely scary stuff from this monkey, but oh, oh catches okay. him out of it. Well, thankfully for Chris, he was able to uh, monkey flip away back on the stage. Yeah, there's some like weird shenanigans because the stun, but also uh, 
Yeah, with him getting hit out of the barrels, I don't quite know how it works, but... Oh, doesn't... Yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, that's unfortunate. He got the banana, but just shielded afterwards. He just wasn't able to take advantage with the banana, and V was able to just wait his turn, keep his cool, mm. knock him up with that up B. Yeah, it's just one mistake from Chris, and it got him really hard punished there at the end. Well, here we go. Krim down 2-0. Gonna look for a little bit of inspiration right here. Going right back to town and city. Gonna try and see if um, he can he can he can he can ease his way into a game. Yeah, like that game two was a lot closer. It just came down to that one forward smash at the end. That and that all you need is just one game to put yourself back in the conversation, right? Exactly, and it is a conversation. But right now, V15 is the one that's been doing the talking. You know? Yep, that's for sure. Definitely making that early statement with the 2-0. Exclaiming his uh, his uh, grasp on the um, on the tournament's best player so far, you know he's just he's just so consistently good, but wins a lot of tournaments on top of that. Yeah. Oh, up air, up air, up B nah. doesn't kill. I I will say though that this game Chris has been playing a lot better. I've been seeing him just mix up situations more off a of down tilt where before he would like kind of whiff a bit, but he's been doing a really good job of reading uh, out of these down tilt situations. Very true. Yeah, and see right there, he just rolled behind, got his grab started, instead of uh, you know maybe giving him too much respect and staying in shield. And now he's got percent lead. He's going to toss him off stage with that forward throw and uh, put a little off stage pressure on. Let's see what he can do. Okay, just respecting uh, Zero Suit there. Able to get the grab afterwards. Oof. Just missing the grab. He could have gotten something huge off of that, but oof. It's a double up air. Yeah, just got to be a little bit careful with how he lands. Okay, he's good. Yeah, I like that mix-up because Zero Suit doesn't have a whole lot of recovery after the stun gun. So, if you're on five, is looking for you to do something out of shield when you hit when he hits you. And Krim, respecting the situation, gets a nice read, and now he's putting some damage on V15, which is not something that we saw in the previous two games. A nice, clean, crisp 40% right there. And now Chris starting to play with a little bit more confidence. First time he's assumed a stock lead in this set. So definitely gonna see how he adapts to this momentum a little bit. He's feeling himself a little bit. He wants to see how far he can take it, but yeah. Yep. And that up B is really strong, but he did get some percent on uh, V15. Still getting more, 65. Can he keep it going? That's the thing, all V needs is just one opportunity and get a, to get a crazy punish here on Krim. Yeah, do not miss your chance to blow. Okay, and Krim's just gotta be careful with how he lands. Charged F smash, sends him the other way, but still puts on a decent amount of percent right there. Yeah. Ooh, and oh, and that grab off of the side B. Crim's really got to be careful with those side Bs on a stage. That could have killed. V15 didn't get the hit that he wanted, and Chris Krim. trying to find his way back on stage. Crim air dodging dangerously right here. V reading it like a book. Yeah, V is hounding him right now. He's got the library card. He wants to study, and, and that's going to be it. There's the back air. Yep. Like, yo. Did see some adjustments from Chris, from Chris, but Zero Suit Samus, V105, so explosive. Just ending those stocks. He's just too consistent. And that's the name of the game right there. V was just able to hold his ground when it counted the most. Yep. Krim, had his, air Krim had his flashes of brilliance, but they weren't, they weren't uh, extensive enough. Yep. That being said, congratulations to V for booking the, sp the first spot in Grand Finals. Yep. And, uh, he's... He's, he's looking pretty good right now. He's, he's flowing a lot of confidence. Only needs to win one more set to get the tournament.